Welcome to your coverage of Missoula Sports Heroes. You're tuned in to the Missoula Prep Sports Network live stream of local sports. Ladies and gentlemen, Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen, gentlemen. This presentation of Missoula Sports is proudly powered by Fuel Fitness, the only gym from Montana for Montana. Check it out. MPSN is your leader in Missoula's prep sports. Woo! We now take you to the action on the Missoula Prep Sports Network. Everybody hustles out there, okay, guys? Nobody quits. Welcome to a Rollin' Field, everyone. Chris Stratton from Missoula Prep Sports Network as we are ready for the second game of the day. Big Fork in town to take on Loyola, and it was the Breakers who took the first game. 5-1, to one. now the Rams are going to line up and take on the Vikings to... See if they can make it 2-0 for Loyola. It's breast cancer awareness today. A white out, a pink out as the Breakers and Rams recognizing those that have fought and those that have fallen due to breast cancer. So what a great cause. The boys, the Rams with their pink, pink socks on. The Breakers had their pink socks earlier. We had uh, balloon, little balloon things that were up before, but the wind here at Rollin Field has pushed them over. And it's a gorgeous September afternoon. Loving the weather here. And, you know, Rollin Field is one of my favorite places to be when it comes to high school sports just because of the atmosphere. I mean, the Ramley here is really awesome. But the backdrop, I mean, you've got a great football field here, grass field. And then on the backdrop, you've got the seasonal changing with the trees in the background. Just about ready to go here. As the boys are lined up and are ready to go, we'll pop open our program for and the game underway and we are ready to go so the breakers to control the ball they're coming off of a tough game against Hamilton on Tuesday and we're gonna have our first free kick of the game this is gonna be for Big Fork. Big Fork is playing shorthanded today they have exactly 10 guys on the field. Or they've got their 11 men, I should say. This one's going to be into the box. Dial will put a head on it, and Lechner will kick it out. It'll be Hoikling to pick it up on the sideline. He'll feed it ahead to Clayton Ogilvie. It'll be Austin with a flick to Clayton, but it'll be Jeremy Hurd to pick it up for Big Fork. Now it's ahead and kicked out of bounds by Brandon Curry. And the Rams will have the first throw in of the game on the far side. <laughs> Sorry about that, folks. Had a little sneezing action going on here. So we'll have the throw in on the far side for the Rams. Love the pink socks with the blue uniforms as this one's controlled by Big Fork. Chase down and Big Fork controlling it. And bring it across the field is Benjamin Pilsklins. And it'll be Kirkus to pick it up. Kirkus on the near side sends it up the sideline and picked up by Pilsklins. And Kirkus once again. Kirkus on the near side. Bless you. And it will be Kalmi Sends it ahead. Ogilvy with the deflection. And then Austin will feed it out to the near side to Tanner Carlson. Picked up now by Hurd for Big Fork. Sent ahead. And this one's booted into the box. Kaleva will have it on the bounce. There's the big boot by Denny Kaleva. Lincoln with a header to feed it ahead to himself, and he'll settle it. Centers it off a couple of Big Fork players, and it's Austin Ogilvy with a shot, and it's going to roll across the front of the goal. Rams have been coming on here as of late. As we'll have the first goal kick coming for the game in favor of Big Fork. Here's the boot to send it up the field. 
Good chipper to midfield. Dial will pick it up and it's Lechner with a chest stall. A header to send it back in. And this one's chased down. It's Alcaraza. Alcaraz, not the extra A. Picked up by Big Fork now on the run. Kami is there trying to get the runner off and Kami will win the battle. Kami will feed it ahead to Kirkus. It is Pilskalens. And now on the run is Lincoln. Lincoln's got two on. He'll get by one. Lincoln now with the defender getting a foot on it and Big Fork will settle it in as Lincoln goes to the floor. Picked up at midfield by Hurd. Hurd's going to give it off and Big Fork or Loyola with a foot on it to keep it in play. It is Hoikling. Uh, chipper ahead and Dial will control. Big Fork's got a tough challenge today as they do not have subs on the sideline. It's going to be a long 80 minutes. Austin Ogilvy feeds it to Clayton on the far side. Clayton will let it roll out, and this will be a big fork throw in on the far side. So the Breakers pick up the first win of the day, 5-1 over Big Fork, and now the Rams seeing if they can do the same thing. Big throw in down the sideline, and a good job by Dial to put a head on that one to send it back out. Big Fork to throw in front of their own bench. Header by Hoikling sends it back out of bounds. Hoikling has been, or actually, Austin's going to get a foot on it to save it. Lincoln to chase it down, a one defender. Lincoln inside the box, he's going to take the right foot and crack it, it's off the cross bar. Carlson will send it back in. And it's out of bounds, ram throw on the near side. Wow! Jack Lincoln with a big shot, and it's off the crossbar. This one's into Tyree. Tyree will stall inside the box. He's going to go ahead and center it, and nobody there, so picked up by Big Forks, Pilskons. And now on the run is Alcaraz. Alcaraz will stall at midfield, crosses over on Hoikling and Hoikling will pick it up now. It's Kalmi. Kalmi off the foot. Kalmi to control. A foot on it by Big Fork and now Big Fork to control. Tyree will take it off the foot. Tyree to push and a foot on it by Dane and Webster. Drop back and it is Hoikling and Hoikling will have to jump back to play some defense. Lechner will pick it up. Lechner last night perfect with field goals for the Ram football program. Here's a crack from outside and this one will get by Kolova. That's the first goal of the game. And Big Fork takes the lead in the 33rd minute. one nothing. So the Rams needing to play catch up now. Center to Austin. Austin tries to feed it ahead and it's off the foot of Big Fork. Big Fork to control. It is Benjamin. Benjamin Pilskons. Austin Ogilvy is there. Whistle and a free kick coming for Big Fork. So that shot just getting over. I think Kaleva was out of the box further than he thought because he was just trying to poke that one up over the top. This is going to be a high chipper out of bounds and Loyola will have the goal kick. Danny Kaleva. Inspirational young man. Spoke to him for a few minutes last night at the Eureka Loyola football game. Foot on it by Benjamin. Benjamin now waits for it to settle. And here comes Hoikling. Hoikling will take it off the foot. Benjamin will come back and pick it up. Benjamin now on the run, and there's Lechner. Lechner will take it away. Lechner and Tyree kind of tie up for a moment. Now it's fed out to Clayton. Clayton on the far side at midfield. He's going to feed it ahead to Austin, his brother. Austin with a touch, and now it's sent ahead. Clayton on the run on the far side. He'll stop, waits for traffic. 
sees his brother. There's Lincoln. Lincoln with the header. It won't go. And here's Tyree. Tyree with the shot just wide of the goal. For Loyola. So goal kick coming. And that'll bounce at midfield. Kalmi will settle it down. Sends it ahead and controlled by Big Fork. On the foot of Redisol. Redisol tries to feed it ahead to Benjamin. And Benjamin's picked up by Lechner. Lechner and Benjamin. And I imagine that's going to be a piece that we're going to see all day long. As Benjamin's quite the player. Tyree's going to send it for Clayton down the far sideline. Too much on the touch. Out of bounds. Big Fork throw in. Good idea. Just a little bit too much on the touch. Big Fork to take the throw in just down the line from their own bench. Empty bench for Big Fork. Clayton Ogilvie with the foot on it to main con maintain control. Clayton is a freshman and he has played very well. Tyree there now. Tyree feeds it ahead to Lincoln. Lincoln has it taken off the foot and now Big Fork will push. Lincoln now from behind. We get a whistle. This is going to be a free kick as Lincoln tried to use the body to control. And the official not having it. So the free kick coming, and it looks like it's going to be Trosh Worrell to take it. Good bend, and Kaleva is going to let it come out. It's going to bounce over Kaleva's head. He's going to have to race back, and it's going to be just wide. Goal kick coming. for Loyola. So even though Big Fork is down a man, well I shouldn't say down a man, they just don't have any subs, they have had the pressure on Loyola all morning. So Kaleva to take the goal kick, sends it up the far sideline, it'll bounce at midfield, chase down and Sent back in another high boot. And Kaleva will let collect it on the bounce. We get a whistle. This is going to be offside on Big Fork. So the Rams will have their first goal free kick of the game. 29 minutes left. Big Fork leading 1-0 on the big blue board. On the west end of the stadium. Er, Lechner will boot it ahead to Austin. Austin with a feed and... Nobody there, and once again, Trosh Worrell will send it back in on the high kick. Lechner to control it in front of the Ram bench. Now Lechner will send it down that direction. And a chest stall by Trosh Worrell and sends it back. There's going to be a little bit of boom ball, I think, from Big Fork as Kami will pick it up. Kami around the Big Fork player, feeds it across to Clayton on the switch, and Clayton will run it ahead to Austin. Austin on the run. Two Big Fork players there, and Trosh Worrell will kick it out of bounds. He is an impressive athlete, is Trosh Worrell. 5'10". Sophomore. He's got to be taller than that. Tyree will take the crack. It's a short crack. Cleared out by Big Fork, and it'll be Hurd to push it out. Hurd flanked by Dial. Hurd on the near side. He's got one man on the inside. Dial will come up. Kirkus and Dial now fed in. Kami is there. Kami with the body, and Kaleva will collect it. And that will be a clean save by Danny Kaleva. Kaleva wants everybody to clear out. And a good drop kick to midfield. Chasing it down now is Benjamin. Cleared out to the far side, and Loyola will have the throw in. I was going to switch my table around this morning. The sun was on the sides facing the east, so I set my computer up so I can see, and I was going to switch it 
between games because now the sun is on the western side and I can't see my screen but that's all right folks I need to see the field and that's all that matters it'll be Troche Wall to take the goal kick for Loyola I mean for Big Fork as Will Byrne comes in and Liam Lechner is going to have a little time on the bench. Byrne is actually going to control it. Chase down a slide tackle. Nice by Big Fork and Byrne to control. Now Byrne gets pushed off and this will be a free kick for Loyola. Don't let it fool you folks. Will Byrne. Will Burns, 5'4", sophomore plays like he's seven foot tall. This one's fed in and a save. First save of the day by either keeper. The clear out. Austin Ogilvie will send it ahead to his brother Clayton and Big Fork will kick it out of bounds. So throw in coming. Looks like Clayton Ogilvie will take the throw. Gives it off to Lincoln. Lincoln will let it roll by and picked up by Big Fork. A toe on it by Burns. Sends it back in and Tanner Carlson will chase it down. Tanner Carlson is there as well as Jack Lincoln. Jack Lincoln to chase it down. And Big Fork to control. A little out of control from Big Fork. Will Burns will come in. And we're going to get a yellow card. Is that on Will Burns? I told you folks, he's only 5'4", but he plays like he's 7 foot tall. So Burns picks up the yellow card. That'll send him off. Free kick coming for Big Fork. And... Burns is going to have to come off. Oh, they're going to give it to Lincoln. Jack Lincoln is going to pick up the yellow card. So with 24 minutes left in the first half, Lincoln will pick up the yellow card. Here's the header as Lechner will come back in. And a feed to himself is Curry. Out of bounds by Calmy. And it will be heard to throw it in. Here's the throw by Hurd. Burns with a header to send it out, and Austin Ogilvie will chase it down. Austin with some space. He's got his brother Clayton, and Alcaraza Car will pick it up. Now it's centered, and Will Burn with space. Burns got one man ahead, and Hoikling. No, that's not Hoikling. That must be number 16, Ray Morgan, up there for the Rams. And it is. It's Clayton Ogilvie on the far side. Clayton to push it up the sideline. Centers it to Austin. Now it's Clayton, and the keeper will come out. It's off the toe and out of the box. And Dial will try to set it up, but the defender is there for Big Fork. Kirkus will pick it up in a high chip. To the far side, Clayton will let it bounce over his head, tries to keep it in bounds, and he does. Clayton on the far side, gives it off to Austin. Austin tried to feed it, but nobody is there. And now Hoikling will send it back to Clayton. Clayton with two on, defender there, sent to Austin, and it's Will Byrne, and now Morgan, and Tanner Carlson will chase it down. Big Fork trying to make the run. But Loyola is there just to tear. And here's Austin. Austin's going to have the chip, but a great job by the defender for the slide tackle. Clayton will be slide tackled into. He'll go down, no whistle, and this is going to be a goal kick coming. For Big Fork. Just over 22 minutes left in the half.
boot downfield out of bounds and this is going to go over the bench and down the sideline. Rams to have a throw in on the far side. So action this week. Loyola will host Steve I. Tuesday, ladies first at three and then taking the long road trip to Frenchtown, Montana. Ladies first at three o'clock from Frenchtown. This one's sent ahead. Loyola trying to control its Tyree. Tyree will send it up to Clayton, but Austin will chase it down. Austin with one on. Gets by the defender. Defender will stay there. Nice play by Hurd on the defense for Big Fork. Austin is there. Austin will turn the corner, and Tyree will take the crack. It's off a defender. Tyree is there once again, and Will Byrne will come up with it. Will Byrne tries to clear it out. Tyree once again. Tyree will stop and stall and sends it into Austin. Big Fork with the defense. Will Burns sets up Clayton. Clayton is there with a toe. Splits the defenders. Takes the shot. Deflection. And it'll be off goal. Picked up by the keeper. Rolling it out very quickly. To Hurd. And there's Tyree to pick it up. Tyree will drop it back to Dial. Dial trying to switch fields. But did not get a full foot on it. And so Big Fork will pick it up. Will Burns will put a touch on it. And it's now Tyree. Tyree fen sends it ahead to Austin and a foot on it once again. I'm really impressed with his uh, Troche Worrell for Big Fork. He's going to go ahead and put that one out of bounds. Lincoln will come back in. Tanner Carlson will go to the bench. Will Byrne will move out to the outside midfield position. Clayton's going to try to send it in, but once again the defense is there. And that's something that Big Fork is going to have to lean on here. Against the Rams, down numbers. It's going to come down to the longevity of Big Fork's defense. The Rams, they like to make the run. Here's Clayton with the throw in. Austin will pick it up, fed in to Tyree. Tyree will control. Tyree takes a crack from outside, and the keeper will have the save on the end line. Goal kick coming. Dial puts a head on it. Comes to the far side, and Kami with a foot out of bounds, and a throw in coming for Big Fork at midfield. sideline. Hoikling puts a head on it. Big Fork will throw in in front of the Ram bench now. Hoikling there on the defense. Centered up and it'll be Kaomi. Kaomi feeds it to Clayton. Centers it to Dial. Dial back to Clayton. Clayton will run into the defender. We get a whistle and this is going to be against Clayton. A free kick coming for Big Fork. Looks like both sides just need to take a breath. Here's the huge boot. And Kaleva will have the save as the wind whips my page off of the table. Good boot by Kaleva. Chased down by Lincoln and Byrne. Lincoln will put a head on it. And Lincoln trying to come up with it. A little fancy footwork by Jack Lincoln. Fed ahead to Tyree in the middle of the field. Tyree sends it to Austin, and I think just too much on the touch. Out of bounds, and a corner kick coming for the Rams. That'll be their first corner of the game. It'll be Garrett Dial to take the kick. for the Rams. Just under 18 minutes left in the half. Here's Dial with the boot. Sends it across the lip. Lincoln is there. Slides and this one's going to roll over the edge. And goal kick coming now for Big Fork. It'll be 
throw Schwarl to take the goal kick. Running up on it is Burns. Burns gets a foot on it, but controlled by Hurd for Big Fork. It's Burns once again. Tyree will drop back on it. Tyree with some time. Switches fields to Clayton, and it's going to be just too much for Clayton to handle out of bounds. Nope, stays in bounds. Good job by Clayton to hold on to it. And Dial will give it off to Hoikling. Hoikling now across the defender. Sends it ahead to Tyree. Too much for Tyree. Defender for Big Fork with the touch. And now Tyree sends it ahead to Clayton. It's Benjamin and picked up on the bounce by the keeper for Big Fork. Hoikling with a foot on it. Alcaraz for Big Fork and controlled by Dial. Tyree with a chip. Lincoln with a chest stall. Lincoln now with a foot. It's going to bounce in front of the keeper and keeper will go down with Lincoln there as well. It's fed out out of bounds and a throw in coming for the Rams on the far sideline. That was touch and go. Big Fork keeper coming out. They've got four keepers listed and the quickness between games I was not able to get down and see who the official keeper was. I was told by a parent that it was Danon Webster, but uh, Danon Webster is on the field. And it's cleared out on the push. And Lechner will kick it out of bounds. Throw in for Big Fork. Just 15 minutes left. Fed ahead. Al Alcaraz will have the shot and Kaleva with the easy save. Kaleva with a good boot. A header by Big Fork, but Tyree will settle at midfield. Tyree sends it to Austin. Austin gets a toe on it, and it's picked up by Brendan Curry out of bounds, and the Rams will have the throw in. Kirkus comes off. Carlson will come back on for the Rams. Throw in sent ahead to Clayton Ogilvie. Clayton trying to control off the ball. Tyree is there. Tyree pushing through two defenders. Tyree will go down. And this is going to be a free kick for the Rams. Just outside the box. Vikings getting the only goal on the day on the run. So Tyree to take the free kick outside the box. Three-man wall. And this one's going to get over the wall. And the keeper will lose control but gains it back just before Lincoln is able to put a foot on it. And now the drop kick is high to midfield. Tyree to chase it down. Count me. Alcaraz is there, and it will be Kami to pick it up. Alcaraz will chase it down. Carlson loses it off the foot and controlled by Hurd. Hurd with Carlson there. Will Byrne is there as well. Two defenders for Loyola, and this one picked up by Lechner. Off the foot, and this will be a throw-in for Hurd, or for off the foot of Hurd, throw-in Rams. Here's Lechner with the throw. He's going to go to Tyree. It goes by. Header by Webster and controlled. Lincoln now with the throw in. <clears throat> Gives it to Lechner in the middle of the field. Lechner with space. And it's Austin Ogilvie. Austin is the scoring leader for these Rams as the fender will clear it out. Hurd will chip it to the far side. 
It's Hoikling, and now it'll be out of bounds. This should be a ram throw. No, they're going to say Big Fork. Here's a throw in by Hurd. It's going to be to Alcaraz. Alcaraz will control between the legs of Lechner. Alcaraz on the edge of the box, dropped back at the feet of Whitney. Whitney will try to center it, and it'll be Austin Ogilvy to pick it up. Austin on the run with Hurd. Feeds it ahead to Lechner. Not enough. Austin will come up, but big fork to control. Dial is there. Dial pushing on Hurd. Lots of elbows and shoulders, and Will Byrne will come up with it. Now centered to Lincoln. Lincoln will give it to Burns, and too much. Burns cannot get it to it, and Big Fork with the throw in. Long throw down the near sideline. Dial will put a foot on it. Out of bounds. As we approach the 11-minute mark. Another good high throw. Lechner puts a foot on it. Lincoln to control. Lincoln fakes outside. Now comes inside to Austin. Austin's going to send it ahead to Clayton. Clayton will have to run it down. And on the run is Trosh Worrell. Trosh Worrell will get there first. Out of bounds. And the Rams will throw in. Big Fork controls the throw in. Dial will have shoulders with Jeremy Hurd, and it'll be Lincoln to come up with it. Now Lincoln, through two defenders, goes to the ground. No whistle. Tyree is there. It's sent ahead. Hoikling and Kaumi will chase it down. It'll be Kaumi to pick it up. And Kaumi will push it forward with space. Now gives it off to Hoikling. Hoikling with a chip downfield, and it'll be Trace Wall. Trace Wall. Ahead and Will Byrne with a foot on it comes up with Tyree. Tyree and Webster with some shoulders. Tyree now taking off the ball. He'll drop it back to Carlson. Carlson will feed it ahead as Lincoln is by himself outside the box. Goes to Clayton and Austin will pick it up. Chips it to Clayton. Clayton inside the box on the run and Austin with a foot on it picked up by the keeper. Drop kip coming. Lechner lets it bounce, gives it ahead to Dial. Dial will give it off to Carlson. Carlson chases it down, it's out of bounds, and we'll have a big fork throw in. Almost nine minutes left. Lechner now to have the throw for Loyola. And he's going to have a good throw to Lincoln. Lincoln stalls it out on his foot. Now Lechner. Lechner will send it ahead to Austin. A header by Benjamin. Got to get this ball settled on the ground so there's some. And Lincoln does. He'll send it ahead to Burns. Burns has got Austin in the middle of the field. It's chipped in by Burns. Good attempt by Will Burns. Cleared out, and Tyree will settle it. Sends it ahead to Austin. Austin turns just outside the box. One defender on. Sends it to Lincoln. Lincoln settles and has taken off his foot. Will Burns and has kicked out of bounds to the near side. Loyola with the throw in coming for Loyola on the near side. It'll be Will Byrne. Short throw to Dial. Dial the chest stall. Gives it back to Byrne. Out of bounds. It'll be Big Fork. Dial comes up with it. Gives it to Lincoln in the middle of the field. Lincoln crossing over. Lincoln Feeds it ahead, out of bounds. It'll be off a of big fork. This should be, and it is, a Loyola throw in. Tanner Carlson will take the throw. And that's a header. Gives big fork possession on the throw in. Down the sideline. Dial will feed it ahead. A knee by Reben. 
Lincoln will feed it to Austin. Too much for Austin. The deflection. And it'll be Tanner Carlson. Dial with a chip. And coming up is Troche Worrell. And he has it taken off his foot by Hoikling. Hoikling and Troche Royal trying to send it ahead, and Hoikling will kick it out of bounds to slow everything down. Here's the throw in by Big Fork. Clayton Ogilvie is there. On the deflection, it comes up at the feet of Austin. Austin up the sideline with two defenders, splits one defender, now feeds it ahead, kicked out of bounds by Big Fork. Six minutes left. In play. Loyola will have the throw in on the near side. Or far side. To Austin and taken off the foot. Tyree with it. A chip to set up Austin. Austin tries to get a foot on it. Keeper is there. Keeper goes down and now he'll jump on top of it. Good save. Drop kick short. Line drive. Lechner is there with a header. Dial with a foot on it. But Big Fork to control. Now it's Big Fork on the run. Waiting for traffic. Dial is there to help out. Tyree steps in and it'll come up with El Caraz. El Caraz with a little footwork in front of Burns. Fed ahead to himself and it'll be Calmy to come up with it. Kalmi ahead and Will Burns will chase it down but it'll be out of bounds. Big Fork ball. <clears throat> Lechner now with the boot off of a Big Fork player out of bounds and this is going to be Big Fork ball. Here's the throw into the box, and Dial will put a head on it, back out of bounds, and Big Fork will try it again. This time a good throw. Kalmi is there, Kaleva will come up with it, and that will be cleared out on the throw to Clayton. Clayton will run it down on the far side. Clayton feeds it ahead to Austin. Austin will chase it down, but not before Trosh Worrell will get to it. This young man has been extremely impressive. Four twenty left in the half. Big Fork with the only goal on the day, one nothing, all the way back in the thirty-second minute. Loyola has done a good job, though, of controlling pace and tempo. But as it is with soccer, and we'll have a corner kick coming now for the Rams. But as it is with bat with soccer. It's all about the run and the set piece. The Breakers did a good job of controlling the game in the first game as this one's chipped into the box. Lincoln is there with a head, goes straight up in the air. The keeper is there, and that will be a save for Big Fork. Drop kick out. Lechner with a head on it to send it back ahead. Tyree. Alcaraz feeds it ahead. Getting a foot on it is Benjamin. Jim Benjamin tries to send it ahead and Lechner will kick it out of bounds. Big fork throw. down the near sideline and Hoikling will put a head on it. Gives it off to Austin. Austin centers it to Tyree. Tyree in the middle of the field with space. He's going to go ahead and send it to the near side to Burns. Burns is going to chase it down but Trosh Worrell is there and he kicks it out of bounds. Throw in. Rams. Here's Will Burns with the throw and they're going to say his foot was on the line. Loyola will, I mean Big Fork will have the throw now. And the official says you got to back up a little bit. It would be Tanner Stone to throw it in for Big Fork. And kick 
kicked out of bounds by Big Fork, so Tanner Carlson will come up. Tanner Carlson to throw. Lincoln is pushed off the ball by Hurd. Hurd's going to move to the middle of the field, sends it ahead. Alcaraz, he's off sides. Free kick coming for the Rams. And I didn't stop the clock at the two minute, so we're just going to let this run out. The, the half will be called by the official in the middle of the field, Lecter to take the kick. So if the clock stops and goes to zero, folks, well, that's my bad because I didn't stop it at two. Good kick by Lecter to send it ahead. It's Tyree. Tyree to settle. Tyree will turn. Crosses over to the near side. Now sends it across the box. Ogilvy is there and a good save. This keeper for Big Fork has been on it. I want to say it's Kenan Rabin, as I don't see a number eight down on the field. So Big Fork to throw in on the near side. Trying to go to El Caraz. Clayton Ogilvy is there as well as Hoikling, and it'll be out of bounds. Ram throw in. Hoikling will take the throw. To Clayton. Clayton with a foot on it, but Hurd is there. Clayton with a good shoulder to keep Hurd off of it. Hurd will get a toe. Lechner now lets it roll. He's got space. And Lechner will boot it up to Burns. Burns with a good stop on it. Gets around the defender. Now Will Burns will push. Centers it to Lincoln. Lincoln will send it for Burns. Burns will run onto it. And once again, Trosh Worrell will be there to send it out of bounds. And the clock has officially gone to zeros. So it's up to the official in the middle of the field to give us our call. Throw in to Lincoln who drops it to Burns. Lincoln with the light touch and that's it folks. It's halftime. The Vikings have the lead 1-0 but the Rams have had the touch. We're going to step aside when we come back we'll have your halftime spirits right here on the Missoula Prep Sports Network. You've been listening to Loyola Sports on the Missoula Prep Sports Network. Get Montana strong at Fuel Fitness and Nutrition. Montana owned and Montana proud. Your $29 a month Montana Mega Gym. Fuel has premier facilities with the latest equipment. Nutrition superstores, high energy classes, refreshing smoothie bars, attentive child care, expert trainers, and we never close. Best of all, you have access to six locations statewide for just $29 a month. That's less than a dollar a day. Get Montana strong at Fuel Fitness and Nutrition. Go to clubfuelfitness.com right now to find a Montana location near you. The Round Carlino Investment Planning Group of D.A. Davison & Company is a proud supporter of Loyola Sacred Heart Athletics. D.A. Davison & Company is your hometown investment team. As certified financial planners, Ray Round and Sidney Carlino create smart strategy of wealth planning and investment management. Take advantage of the largest full-service investment firm in the Northwest and Ray and Sidney's experience. Call 543-8244 today. D.A. Davison & Company, member SIPC, the strength of advice. Locally owned Paradise Falls is a place for friends and family to enjoy breakfast lunch and dinner seven days a week with a diverse menu and a fun atmosphere that includes nearly 30 tvs showing every sport imaginable paradise falls is sure to have something for everyone have you recently found yourself in a situation where you need a lawyer? Give our friends at Tip Coburn & Associates a call today. They have been practicing injury, employment, and criminal defense in addition to other areas of law for the past 55 years. Give Tip Coburn & Associates a call today at 406-549-5186 or stop by their website at www.tipcoburnandassociates.com. Tip Coburn & Associates, lawyers fighting for Montana since 1959 and proud sponsors of Missoula Pep Sports on MPSN. Stitches of Missoula is your resource for embroidery and screen printing. Give Stitches a call today at 406-529-2632 to speak with their super friendly staff and have them take care of your embroidery needs. From business logos to team jerseys, Stitches Embroidery can help you and your team look good. 
Check them out online at stitchesmontana.com to see their full line of silkscreen and embroidery options. Stitches is a proud sponsor of Prep Sports on the Missoula Prep Sports Network. Locally owned Paradise Falls is a place for friends and family to enjoy good food and good times. With a diverse menu and a fun atmosphere that includes nearly 30 TVs showing every sport imaginable, Paradise Falls is sure to have something for everyone. Mike's Print and Copy is your locally owned print shop. Whether it's custom letterhead or business cards, Mike and his friendly staff understand that your business is important to you and will make sure that your project is handled in a professional and timely manner. Drop into Mike's Print and Copy to have them take care of your printing needs. Stop by 1503 South Russell or give them a call today at 406-728-3363 to have Mike's Print and Copy take care of your printing needs. Mike's Print and Copy is a proud sponsor of high school sports in Missoula and the surrounding community. Welcome back to MPSN. Chris Stratton from the Zulu Prep Sports Network as we are at halftime between the Rams and the Vikings. A big fork. one nothing Vikings. The only goal coming up the feet of Benjamin Pills calls in the 33rd minute. We're going to go ahead and step aside. When we come back, we'll have your halftime stats. You've been listening to Loyola Sports on the Missoula Prep Sports Network. Hockey Wolf and Lacrosse Wolf is Missoula's one-stop shop for all your hockey and lacrosse needs. Check this out. It may be warm outside, but you can still take care of your hockey fix in their one-third sized indoor rink. Really? Wow, crazy. Stop in to 1010 North Avenue West and see what they have in store for your hockey needs. Hockey Wolf and Lacrosse Wolf is a proud sponsor of high school sports on the Missoula Prep Sports Network. Have you recently found yourself in a situation where you need a lawyer? Give our friends at Tip Coburn & Associates a call today. They have been practicing injury, employment, and criminal defense in addition to other areas of law for the past 55 years. Give Tip Coburn & Associates a call today at 406-549-5186 or stop by their website at www.tipcoburnandassociates.com. Tip Coburn & Associates, lawyers fighting for Montana since 1959 and proud sponsors of Missoula Pep Sports on MPSN. Garden of Reading has a large stock of books, gifts, music, toys, and more. Stop into Sacred Grounds for their full-service coffee bar featuring Missoula's best gourmet coffee. While you're there, pick up a pound of Garden of Reading's award-winning fudge and get a half pound for free. Garden of Reading is Missoula's home for the best dietary supplement, Define 8. Garden of Reading is located at 2621 Brook Street. Garden of Reading is a proud sponsor of Prep Sports on the Missoula Prep Sports Network. Locally owned Paradise Falls is a place for friends and family to enjoy good food and good times. With a diverse menu and a fun atmosphere that includes nearly 30 TVs showing every sport imaginable, Paradise Falls is sure to have something for everyone. The Round Carlino Investment Planning Group of D.A. Davidson & Company is a proud supporter of Loyola Sacred Heart Athletics. D.A. Davidson & Company is your hometown investment team. As certified financial planners, Ray Round and Sidney Carlino create smart strategy of wealth planning and investment management. Take advantage of the largest full-service investment firm in the Northwest and Ray and Sidney's experience. Call 543-8244 today. D.A. Davidson & Company, member SIPC, the strength of advice. Advertising on the web can be intimidating. Where do you start? What is the most effective way to reach the audience you are targeting? Milk Crate Media can help you reach your audience whether it is social media marketing or creating a unique commercial for streaming or for radio advertising. Milk Crate Media can help you build a new website or rebuild your existing website that will bring users back again and again. Visit www.mcratemedia.com today. Milk Crate Media is a proud sponsor of Prep Sports in Missoula and the surrounding valley. Lunch and dinner seven days a week. With a diverse menu and a fun atmosphere that includes nearly 30 TVs showing every sport imaginable, Paradise Falls is sure to have something for everyone. Welcome back to MPSN. Chris Stratton from the Missoula Prep Sports Network as we're at halftime between the Big Fork Vikings and the Loyola Rams. Vikings owning the scoreboard 1 0 at halftime. The Vikings, they get their one goal off of three shots. No corner kicks served up, and the keeper would have six saves. The only goal coming from Benjamin Pilscons. 
at the 33rd minute. Five free kicks and six goal kicks for the Vikings. For the Rams, no goals off of eight shots, two corners, and Kaleva would have two saves. No goals coming, but Jack Lincoln did pick up a yellow card in the first half. Four free kicks and two goal kicks coming up. We'll have Stevensville at Rollin Field on Tuesday. And then coming up on Thursday, Loyola will make the road trip to Frenchtown to take on the Viking, or take on the Bronx. We'll have Ram football on Friday night as well, so a full slate of sports coming up. We're going to go ahead and step aside when we come back. We will have your second half. You're listening to Loyola Sports on the Missoula Prep Sports Network. Locally owned Paradise Falls is a place for friends and family to enjoy breakfast, lunch, and dinner seven days a week. With a diverse menu and a fun atmosphere that includes nearly 30 TVs showing every sport imaginable, Paradise Falls is sure to have something for everyone. Hockey Wolf and Lacrosse Wolf is Missoula's one-stop shop for all your hockey and lacrosse needs. Check this out. It may be warm outside, but you can still take care of your hockey fix in their one-third sized indoor rink. Really? Wow, crazy. Stop in to 1010 North Avenue West and see what they have in store for your hockey needs. Hockey Wolf and Lacrosse Wolf is a proud sponsor of high school sports on the Missoula Prep Sports Network. Locally owned Paradise Falls is a place for friends and family to enjoy good food and good times. With a diverse menu and a fun atmosphere that includes nearly 30 TVs showing every sport imaginable, Paradise Falls is sure to have something for everyone. The Round Carlino Investment Planning Group of D.A. Davidson & Company is a proud supporter of Loyola Sacred Heart Athletics. D.A. Davidson & Company is your hometown investment team. As certified financial planners, Ray Round and Sidney Carlino create smart strategy of wealth planning and investment management. Take advantage of the largest full-service investment firm in the Northwest and Ray and Sidney's experience. Call 543-8244 today. D.A. Davidson & Company, member SIPC, the strength of advice. Get Montana strong at Fuel Fitness and Nutrition, Montana-owned and Montana Proud, your $29 a month Montana Mega Gym. Fuel has premier facilities with the latest equipment, nutrition superstores, high energy classes, refreshing smoothie bars, attentive child care, expert trainers, and we never close. Best of all, you have access to six locations statewide for just $29 a month. That's less than a dollar a day. Get Montana strong at Fuel Fitness and Nutrition. Go to clubfuelfitness.com right now to find a Montana location near you. Welcome back to MPSN. Chris Stratton from the Missoula Prep Sports Network as we are set for the second half here at Rollin Field between the Vikings of Big Fork and the Loyola Rams. It will be, should be Big Fork ball. Big Fork playing with exactly 11 guys on the field as we get ready to go. We're going to go ahead and pull off the scoreboard here and get you set up on the field. We'll wait for my camera helper to come on up. Victoria? Playing around with some of the kids here at the half as we are ready to go. It is going to be a big fork ball to start the second half. Rams will go east to west now on Rollin Field. That would be right to left. As we get some more cloud cover, the wind has come up here on Rollin Field. And it's actually gotten a little stiffer as time has gone by. It's Breast Cancer Awareness Day for Ram and Breaker Soccer as they are doing a pink out here at Rollin Field. Official at midfield checking in with everybody. Sets his watch. The whistle is blown and we're underway. Big fork to drop it way back in. And this was going to be sent ahead. A good boot by Trosh Wall. And he is one of the most impressive players I've seen today. Throw in by Loyola down the far sideline. Big fork trying to maintain control. It was... Pretty close to 50-50 as far as 
ball control in the first half as this one's fed ahead and it's dropped back. It'll be Trosh Worrell to pick it up. And he's going to go ahead and give it the good boot. He's got a nice boot on it. And something that we don't really like to see in soccer is what we call boom ball. But that's a little bit of what's been going on with Big Fork today. Here's a throw into Burns. Burns trying to get around the defender and dropped off. Tyree sends it ahead to Burns. Now Burns on the run on the outside. He's chased down from behind by the defender. Centers it up and it's Dial. Dial will feed it ahead. He's got Tyree and Burns over there. Burns will pick it up. Tyree points to Burns to fade it ahead. Now Tyree at the top of the box. Tyree will turn on the defender and he'll have the shot and will be off target. And a save coming for the keeper. Booted out to Alcaraz. Tyree is there. Clayton Ogilvie feeds it to Lincoln and a little flick to, Ty to Clayton Ogilvie. Clayton will stop. He's got the defender there. Works to the near side on the defender. Now he's going to go ahead and send it to Lincoln. Lincoln off the knee. It's high in the air and it's out of bounds. This will be a big fork throw in. Rams trying to pull back in. They're down 1 0. And in soccer, that's a huge score. 1 0. 1 0, I should say. The throw in coming from Brendan Curry for Big Fork down the line. Attempting to try to go to Keenan Rebin. And Tyree will pick it up. He's picked up from behind by Alcaraz. Feeds it to Burns. Burns down the sideline. Tries to stall it. And he does out of bounds. Just not enough. And it'll be a Big Fork to throw. Coming in to throw will be Tanner Stone. Burns is there on the chest stall to take the throw. Tyree, but off the foot on Benjamin. Centered, and Lincoln will try to take a crack, but it's whiffed, and this one's sent out of the box. Lechner will chase it down and kicks it out of bounds just about midfield. Throw in coming from Hurd, and he'll send it deep. Drop back to Kaleva, and Kaleva will collect it and ask the boys to push ahead. Traffic clears. Kaleva with the drop kick and a good boot. Alcaraz tries to get on it. It's Austin Ogilvie with a header to himself and a foot on it by Stone for Big Fork. Now it's Tyree. Tyree is looking to switch fields and didn't quite get underneath it. Big Fork will pick it up. A toe on it by Webster and sent ahead. Lincoln to control. He's got Austin in front of him. Lincoln just outside the box drops it to Tyree. Tyree now sends it ahead. Defender gets a foot on it. It's Dial. Now the defender pushes it ahead. Running up on it is Hoikling. And Hoikling is flanked by Hurd. Tyree will come up with it. It's Hurd. Pushed off the ball from behind. Boys go to the floor, but nobody's, no whistle, I should say. And Big Fork will clear it out of their box. Now it's picked up by Al Karaz. Al Karaz will push it up the far sideline, stalls out, centers it up to Benjamin. Benjamin Pills, Pills Kane, Kalanes. That's why I'm going with Benjamin. I don't want to brutalize his name too much. Here's Kaleva with the clear out of the box. Picked up by Tyree at midfield, and Tyree will come to the near side to Hoikling. Hoikling's going to go ahead and push. He's got Clayton Ogilvy on the near sideline. And he sends it ahead for Clayton. Clayton will have it run down. It'll be Trosh Worrell who will put it out of bounds. Good action going on today at Ram Field. Really enjoyed the action that has gone on. That one's just wide of the goal. And a goal kick coming for Big Fork. So the ball set for Trosh Worrell to take the kick as we've had five minutes tick away here in the second half. Good kick. Header by Tyree to send it back in. Clayton Ogilvie with a foot on it. Chase down on the far side. It'll be Burns to let it go out. Big Fork with the throw in. Tanner Stone over there to help out. Here's the throw in down the sideline. Alcaraz around Tanner Carlson for 
Loyola. Carlson gets a foot on it. And now coming back is Curry. Curry sends it ahead. Now ahead to El Caraz. Lechner will run on and Lechner goes down. No whistle. Hoytling and this one's over the goal. Shot on goal as Lechner is still down. Goal kick coming for the Rams. They would only have two in the first half as Lechner gets up and brushes himself off. Good kick by Kalova to the far side. And Burns will be fought off the ball by Hurd. Austin with a header to drop it back to Tyree. And now Austin and Lincoln will run onto it. This was going to be over the end line. And the Rams will have their first corner kick of the half. It'll be Dial to come up and take the corner. He'll take his time to pick up the ball. Dial, when he sets up the corner, he usually puts the ball on the end line of the bubble, and that's exactly where he's going to put it. Here's the run, and it's out of the box. Lincoln with a chest all to settle it and top the box. Crosses over. He's got Tyree behind him. He drops it to Tyree. Tyree will run onto it. Hurt is there with a slide tackle. Now Lincoln. Lincoln with one on from behind. Now Lincoln with two on from behind. He's going to dribble it in. Stalls it out. Gives it off to Tyree. Tyree's got Clayton on the near side. That's where he's going to go with it. Clayton settles around the defender. Now set up. It's Tyree. Tyree with some time. And now it's Alcaraz there with Tyree. Tyree with a little footwork. Drops it back and it's Hoikling. Hoikling's going to go ahead and go to Lechner and Lechner is going to feed it in on the chip to Austin. Austin Ogilvie drops it back to Tanner Carlson. Rams taking their time here. Here is Dial. It's on the foot and Hurd will have a foot on it. Hurd to push. Dial will come in from behind to slow up the push. And now it's fed ahead. Hoikling, I mean uh, Kaomi will pick it up. Kaomi on the far side with the touch by Wilburn. Wilburn out of bounds and this will be a throw in for the Rams. Try to do that a little bit slower so it doesn't uh, give people a headache when they when you zoom in and out. There we go. Good job. It's Dial fighting for it. Coming up with it. Sets up Tyree in the middle of the field. Tyree with a little space. Feeds it to Burns on the far side. Burns will run onto it. Burns gets a touch. He's going to go ahead and take a crack. It's a deflection and kicked out of bounds. Coaches on the Ram sideline trying to jump for the ball, and we'll have a Ram throw in on the far side regardless. Almost 10 minutes gone by here in the second half. Here's the throw in to Austin. Austin will work his way to the top of the box, tries to center it up for Lincoln off the foot, and Clayton will chase it down out of bounds. Ram throw in very quickly to Lincoln. Lincoln puts a foot on it to stall it, drops it back to Hoikling, and Hoikling's going to go ahead and center it up. Trosh Royal is there. Worrell, I should say, is there. And now, Kalmay will clear it out to Carlson. A good slide by Hurd, and picked up on the run by Benjamin. Benjamin Pilskins, and he goes down, no whistle. So Dial will feed it ahead. Burns on the run in front of the Ram bench. Good stop and stall. Tries to get it to Austin Ogilvie, and it's picked up by Alcaraz. A big fork. Loyola gets it back. Tanner Carlson tries to kick it upfield, but it's going to be out of bounds, and this will be big fork ball. Wilburn trying to fight for it with Hurd there. Giving up almost a foot difference. And the Rams will have the throw in. Just under 30 minutes left here in the game. And now Burns will push it out of bounds. And Tyree says, I'll take the throw in. So 
Tyree will center it to Lincoln. Lincoln will settle the ball, or try to. Comes to the near side, and Hoikling will chase it down. Hoikling with space allows time to develop and brings it up the side. He's got Clayton, and Hoikling will bring it up. Clayton will drop back into that fullback position, crossed in front of the goal, and the keeper will get it easily. Booted out by the Big Fork keeper. And out of bounds, Lechner will have it. Lechner to throw. Trying to go to Lincoln. Lincoln is there. Flanked by Big Fork. That is Webster for Big Fork. It's going to roll on the end line, and the Vikings will have the throw in. These two teams on the basketball court battle it out. Lechner will step up, a knee on it. And Lincoln, Lincoln trying to settle. He'll chip it ahead and chase down and kicked out of bounds by Curry of Big Fork. Lincoln's going to chase it down. And it'll be Clayton Ogilvy for the throw in. Drops it short to Dial, who drops it back to Clayton. Clayton. Crosses it in front of the goal. Will Burns is there. It's off of Burns' foot, and Austin will chase it down. Now Austin Ogilvy with two on. Tries to split the defenders. Comes up with the ball. Comes in front of the goal. He's going to have the chipper, and this one's going to be a corner kick coming for the Rams. It'll be Dial to take the corner. Dial sends it to the top of the box. It's going to clear the top of the box. It'll be chased down by Hurd. Hurd will be chipping it forward out of bounds, and this will be a ram throw in. It'll be Hoikling to take it. Gets cheers from the Loyola student section as Lechner has it now. Lechner is going to send it ahead, switching fields, and Burns will pick it up on the corner of the box. Burns now with the shot across the box. That one's going to bounce, and Lincoln is there. We'll have a goal kick coming. Jack Lincoln sliding in, trying to get the tap on the inside of the goal. Great attempt by Burns, trying to come to the near top hole. And it'll be Trosh Wardle to take the goal kick. Pretty clean here in the second half as neither team has had a free kick. Tyree skies for the header. Lincoln flinks it ahead and Austin Ogilvy will run into it. Austin with the header to himself. Austin with the chip in. It's good! The Rams get on the board in the 26th minute with Austin Ogilvy's light touch. And we're tied at one. Student section coming alive. The Ram scoring leader, Austin Ogilvy, with the equalizer. Big Fork will drop it back to Hurd. Hurd to Trosh Worrell, who sends it ahead. It's Tyree to come up with it. Tyree to Clayton Ogilvy on the near side. Clayton with one on, drops it back to Hoikling. Hoikling's going to push up the near sideline, out of bounds, and Big Fork will have the throw in. Tied at one in the 26th minute. Here's the throw in. Clayton Ogilvy with the chest stall. He's going to push it. He's got Lincoln. Lincoln wasn't paying attention. and Actually, Lincoln, I shouldn't say wasn't paying attention. He was just running up field. And we're going to have a free kick coming. Lechner steps in. No yellow card. I bet it will be the free, first free kick. Big Fork wanting a yellow card. Oh, they're going to go ahead and give Lechner the yellow card. Wow. I thought he had control there, folks. But Lechner will go to the sideline, and that will bring in Hunter Mahan for the first time today.
Trochuaro will send it in the box. Clevel will come up and get it on the slide. Dangerous. Hurd sliding in there on Kaleva. Jeremy Hurd, the 5'8 senior. And this one's drop kick to midfield. Austin Ogilvie trying to block out. And it is Lincoln that comes up with it. Lincoln with a flick behind his back. And coming up with it now is Pills Collins. Dial switches fields to Mahan. Mahan drops it, and Carlson will send it ahead. Austin with the header. Troche Worrell, and it's bouncing around on the heads of players. Mahan will settle it, but the Rams weren't ready. Fed ahead, and it's Hurd. Hurd with a little fancy footwork on Tyree. Pushes it out. Now it's Calme and Hurd. Hurd will settle, and Calme gets a foot on it. Carlson is there as well. Calme and Hurd. It's across the front of the box, but it is... Hoikling and Hoikling will send it up to Clayton. Clayton at midfield now. Waits for traffic. Sends it to the middle of the field to Austin. It's off the foot of Big Fork, but Dial with a foot on it. Will Burns with a chest doll. Drops it back to Dial. Dial now. Switching it to the far side. It's Hunter Mahan. Mahan centering it to Austin, but a foot on it by Big Fork, and Dial will have to control. It's bounced ahead, and a foot on it by Webster to send it up. And Tanner Carlson will have hurt there. Carlson will kick it out of bounds smartly. And it gives Big Fork the throw. And no, you're going to say a Ram throw in? Okay, so Tanner Carlson to take the throw. Trying to go to Will Burns. Will Burns with a little tap trickery, but still controlled by Big Fork. It is Alcaraz. Heard now. And Hoikling will send it ahead to Clayton. Clayton's got some time. Lots of space, so he's just going to wait. Now it's Keenan Reben. Now Austin is outside the box. He's got some space. He's going to take the left-footed shot over the goal. And Austin Ogilvy was doing kickoff and PATs for the Ram football program and then Liam Lechner comes in and he's been doing it. Lechner, perfect last night against Eureka. Another soccer player that kicks for their football program, that would be Terad Richardson of Frenchtown. He plays sweeper out there. Bless you. Here's the kick by Troche Worrell. Hi, Clayton is there. And the chest doll lands at the feet of Lincoln. Now Tyree with one on. Tyree and Alcaraz will get a foot on it. Calme with Tyree. Fighting for it is Benjamin Pills Collins. Hoikling sends it to Lincoln. Lincoln with some footwork. And Pills Collins will have Lincoln's number. Lincoln and Pills Collins fight for it. Lincoln now with a little left to right action. And he'll come up with it with space. Hurd is there. Sent ahead to Clayton Ogilvy on the near side. He'll run it down just before it goes out of bounds. Clayton now with some space. Centers it. That's off the body. And now Trosh Waro will send it to the Ram side of the field. Kaumi will chase it down. Alcaraz is there. Kaumi with a shoulder. And Kaumi is going to come up with this one. Alcaraz now. Kaumi between the legs of Alcaraz. And Kaumi will stay with it. Fed to the middle of the field, and Pills Collins will send it back ahead, and it's Hurd. Hurd on the run. Hurd at the box. He's going to try to get a right foot on this one. Tyree is there. Now the kick. It's over the goal. And that's only the second shot of the second half for Big Fork as we approach the 20-minute mark. Kaleva chases it down on the goal kick. This will only be the second goal kick of the second half for the Rams. They only had two in the first half. So Kaleva to take the kick. Comes to the near side. It'll be chased down. Clayton Ogilvy will come on from behind to take it away from Tanner Stone. Tanner Stone just kind of leisurely comes up. No whistle as Pilskins 
Pills Cones goes down. Now it's Alcaraz, Kalmi with the push off, and Kalmi will come up with it. He's going to send it down the sideline, out of bounds, and this will be a throw in for Big Fork. Throw in coming. Kalmi fed in to Big Fork, and out of bounds. This will be Big Fork throw in once again on the far side. Throw in to the box, but Austin Ogilvy with a foot on it. Austin's got the move and the push. He's going to be run down. Slide tackle to stop by Hurd. And this is dropped back to Tyree. Tyree's going to send it ahead. He's got one on there. A header by Stone to put it out of bounds. And the Rams will have the throw in as Mahan chases it down. Pink balloons flying away here at Rollin Field as we have the breast cancer awareness going on. A whistle. This will be a free kick coming. Be the first free kick for the Rams in the second half. They had four in the first half. It'll be Tyree to take the kick or is it Carlson? I think Tanner Carlson's going to take this one. Nope, Tyree. They are both set up there. Tyree with the entry. And this one will get by. Burns tries to chase it down out of bounds. And this will be a goal kick coming. And it'll be Trosh Worrell to take the goal kick. Just under 18 minutes left in the half, or in the game, tied at one. Trosh Worrell to take it. Clayton Ogilvie will stall it out, out of bounds, and this will be set up for Big Fork to throw. Taking the throw will be Brendan Curry, 5'6 freshman. He's going to go down the sidelines, and Clayton Ogilvie will head it back out using the 12th man on the defensive side. Smart play. Can't be afraid to use that 12th man. Very important part of soccer. Header by Clayton to get it ahead to Lincoln. Lincoln will chip it ahead to Austin. Austin with a chest ball. He's on the run. He's got one on either side. Tries to feed it ahead. Now he does get it ahead to Lincoln. Lincoln is on sides. Lincoln's going to center it up and off the knee of Trosh Worrell, and it's cleared out by Stone. Hoikling with it now. Hoikling will center it to Dial, Dial with a chest doll, and he's outside the box. Going to take a crack, and that one's off the defender. A deflection. Chased down by Mahan on the far side. Mahan drops it to Burns. Burns with a shot, and that one's going to be a goal kick. So with just over 16 minutes left, Trosh Worrell will have the goal kick. down the middle of the field. It is heard to come up with it. Dial will come in as he tries to juggle the ball. Drop back and now running onto it is Trosh Worrell who booms it back down the far end on a high chip. Calmi. Alcaraz is there as well. Centers it to Hurd. Hurd with Tyree back there. Hurd with a little play. Outside to Hoikling and Hurd's going to take a chip at it. And this will come up with a goal kick for the Rams. Substitutions coming as Morgan will come in. Nope, that's one of the Low brothers. We'll have to wait for him to turn around as Will Burns comes off. I want to say that is Seth, the taller of the two, as Kaleva chases this ball down. We approach the 15 minute mark. And he must be behind the pole. I can't see him. I was trying to see the number on the young man that just came in. Goal kick upfield. Lincoln with a touch on it. And Lincoln will come to the near side. Lincoln with control. Has Clayton to the near side. Lincoln will move to the middle of the field. Outside the box. He's going to take a crack. Low shot. Deflected out. 
Now it's Dial. Dial outside the box. He's going to take, or it's Tyree, and Tyree's shot will just get by the goal. Goal kick coming. So with the Rams tying the game up at one. Number one just came in. Number 11. Uh oh. It is Gablo coming off the field as Lechner comes back in. So it was, I knew it was one of the Lowe brothers. Thought it was Seth, but it's Gabe. Here's Troche Worrell with the goal kick. Hoikling with the header, and Pills Collins will send it across the front of, or across midfield. Austin Ogilvie with a touch. Now Austin Ogilvie on the push. He's got Lincoln ahead. He gives it ahead to Lincoln. Lincoln tries to be fancy with it, but Clayton will come up with it. Clayton around one, and now Webster will kick it ahead, but Dial is there. Here's Tyree to send it into the box. Far side, it's Mahan. Mahan is there. He'll chase it down outside the box. Drops it back. Austin will chase it down. Sends it to Lincoln at the top of the box. Lincoln will take a crack, and that's going to be a save for the big four keeper. <clears throat> Here's the drop kick to midfield, and Tyree with a header to send it back in. Clayton Ogilvie with a chest stall. Ahead to Austin. Austin is there at the top of the box. He's going to get around a defender, and it's kicked out. Hoikling's going to go ahead. Looked like he was going to take a crack from the 20-yard line, but settled it. Tyree now with a chip. Lincoln with a high one over the goalpost. And that is a goal kick. So after tying the game up, the Rams have tried to pull ahead. They've put some more pressure on here and kept the ball on their end of the field, or on the Big Fork end of the field. Troche Worrell will have the goal kick coming. He's got a heavy foot, folks. On its way across midfield, Tyree with the header to drop it down and now Tyree chases it down. It was Lechner with the header. Now Tyree up the far side. Chased down by one. Tyree now into the box. Squares it up. And Tyree goes down. Picked up by Stone. And Stone will clear it out. Pushed ahead by Whitney. Tanner Carlson cannot get there. And Al Caraz is there. Mahan is there with four on. And it will be Tyree to come up with it. Switching fields and Lincoln. Tries to get a foot on it. Chased down and controlled by Brendan Curry. Curry will kick it out of bounds. Rams with a throw in. With just under 12 minutes left to play. More sports action going on, folks. Go to our website, www.mpsn406. And I've got the prep schedule up. Every day that there is prep action... I will have the prep schedule up there for you to go to, check out, and then go out and cheer on our sports heroes. Here's Hoikling with it. He's going to send it upfield, but it's going to go out of bounds. And we'll have a big fork throw in at the 11 minute mark. Taken by Curry. Big fork playing with exactly 11 men today. No substitutions. Iron Man football. Clayton Ogilvie with the foot to kick it out of bounds. Curry to rethrow. Alcaraz will get a foot on it and a header by Pills Collins. Chased down by Curry at the end line, out of bounds, and Big Fork will have the throw in. Down the sideline, and Hoikling is there. It's off of Clayton's head, out of bounds. Big Fork will throw once again. Out of bounds. Up the sideline. Settle it. Tries to flick it ahead, but Dial was not there. Now Lechner trying to fight for it. Heavy wind here at Rollin Field, as you can hear it on my mic.
microphone. Chased down on the far side by Tana Carlson, out of bounds. Tyree is going to go ahead and tie his shoe. Throw in high. Tyree will run on to it. As Burns on the near side, Burns is going to run it down. He's got Curry there out of bounds and will have a throw in for... Let him get it. Throw in for Loyola on the near side. Just under nine minutes left. Drop back to Lechner. Burns tries to save it out of bounds and Big Fork with the throw in now. Tied at one. Dial is there. Tyree with a deflection and Lechner with the touch, but it comes up to Hurd. Hurd sends Alcaraz. Alcaraz upfield. Alcaraz on sides. Lechner will chase him down. Overruns the ball. Now stalls out. He's going to have a little footwork, but it's Kaomi there to take it away and Kaomi to push it. Sends it up for Mahan. Mahan cannot get there. Out of bounds, and this will be a big fork throw in. Sun coming out to bless us for a few moments on a cloudy day. We're expecting some rain later tonight. Some breaker volleyball players here enjoying the game, cheering on their fellow Loyolans. The Ramley, as they call it here. Here's Lechner with Alcaraz. Alcaraz with some footwork. And Kaomi is there. Kaomi will come up with it. Kaomi feeds it ahead, a toe, and Austin. Austin will have the flick and Here's a slide tackle by Hurd. It's clean. And Austin Ogilvy will come up with it. Lechner will chase down the deflection. Sends Burns ahead. Now Burns will chase it down. Here's Hurd. And it's Austin. Hurd with a foot on it. Austin rolls forward. Now Tyree. Tyree and Hurd will go down. This is going to be a free kick coming for the Rams. Jeremy Hurd just a little bit out of control. And this will set Tyree up with the free kick. Tyree now on the approach. Chips it in low and this will roll over the line. Goal kick coming for Big Fork. Six and a half left to play. Tie it at one. It's like Ryan Tyrrell is still here helping out Ram Athletic Director Mac Roach on the far side. Shagging balls. Substitutions coming as Mahan comes out. Trosh Worrell with a good boot. Dial steps ahead to get a head on it. It's going to roll to the far side and picked up by Stone, a big fork. Stone will send it up the sideline. He's got Whitney there. And Austin Ogilvie with a touch. And will be kicked out of bounds. Clayton to take the throw. Goes to his brother Austin. Austin with a head. Now it is Lincoln. Lincoln will settle. Takes the crack from outside the box. And it's deflected by the defender. Big fork has played some great defense here today. Tyree fights for it with Pills Pounds. And it's Clayton Ogilvy. Clayton Ogilvy around the defender. Has his brother Austin there to the edge of the box. Crosses it in, and Tyree will take the shot. It's good. Zach Tyree in the fifth, right at five minutes. And the Rams take the lead 2-1, just like that, folks.
And now Big Fork finds themselves behind. So we go back into the action. Just under four and a half minutes left to play. It's Pills Collins on the run on the far side. Tyree will pick him up. Pills Collins goes down just out of bounds, but controlled. It's Dial to send it up to Clayton Ogilvie on the far side. Clayton to run up the sideline with space. Now taken on from behind by Hurd. Dial. Hurd will slide into him. A little bit of a dangerous slide tackle, but no whistle. Dial now with a toe on it. And it's Whitney on the far side. Clayton will come up with it on the far side. Clayton now in control with one on. Centers it to Lincoln. Lincoln will take the crack and it's saved by the keeper. So cleared out by the keeper. Throw in Will Burns with the header. As the camera is the wrong direction, I apologize. Lost my camera person. Working on some safety stuff here. As we approach the three minute mark, Rams in the, with the lead, 2-1. Will Burns with a chest stall, take control, feeds it ahead to Lincoln, and that one's going to be saved, and nope, they say out of bounds, Ram throw in. It'll be Tyree, nope, Hoikling to take it, down the sideline to Lincoln, Lincoln with a foot on it, little block out motion. Reichling comes up to help and it's taken off the foot by Alcaraz. Lechner comes in. Lincoln now switches fields and it's Tanner Carlson. Carlson on the bounce. Chases it down. Upfield now. Picked up by Clayton Ogilvie. Has his brother Austin on the, ends, on the middle of the field. Clayton will stop. Let's the ball roll. Feeds it to Tyree. A foot on it. By Webster. Now fed ahead. It's Austin Ogilvie. And the defender. Kicks it out, ram throw in as we approach the two minute stoppage time. Folks, I'll actually be able to get to this one this time. Here's the throw to Austin. Austin trying to take a crack at it, and Trosh Worrell will kick it out. Near side as we hit the two minute stoppage time. It's heard. And Tyree comes up with it. Tyree's going to push. Tyree up, out of bounds, and Big Fork with the throw in. Rams taking the lead late in the game. 2 1. Inside the two minute stoppage time, so game will be called by the official at midfield. Here's the throw in down the sideline, and Clayton Ogilvie is there. Stops it from going out of bounds in front of the Ram bench. Clayton will push. Little shoulder. Clayton's got it. He's going to drive in, and there's the shot by Austin Ogilvie. That'll be the second one of the game for Austin Ogilvie. And in the second half, after the Rams were shut out in the first half, They'll take a 3-1 lead over Big Fork. And as I mentioned in the first half, folks, if you remember all the way back there, I know it's been a while, but it all I told you it all came down to longevity for the Big Fork defense. And you can see it coming down here at the end of the game. There's the whistle to start play, and Trosh Warrell will go ahead and send it down in. Oh, why not? You know, I had some... When I played for Big Sky at the high school level, as Clever's just going to stall there. But uh, we had a David Tingley that we scored a lot of opening kickoff goals in the first half and the second half as Tyree is going to send this one down the sideline out of bounds. Jimmy Bowl and David Tingley, they would just set and then drop it. It's okay. So it'll be Curry on the throw in. Here's the throw down the sideline. 
Coach Worrell, they brought him ahead. He's got a heavy foot. Quickly with the throw in. Drops it to Lincoln. Lincoln's off the foot and it's Pills call. Around dial. Now fed ahead. Alcaraz and Tanner Carlson on the far side. Alcaraz inside the two minute warning, so the official will call the game. Out of bounds. Nope, they'll fight for it. Alcaraz and it's Tyree to come up with it. Tyree to push on the far sideline to Clayton Ogilvy. And that's out of bounds at midfield. Tyree to take the throw at midfield. Official checks his watch to Austin Ogilvy. Tries to feed it to Clayton out of bounds and big for it with the throw in. Official checks his watch again, getting close to the end of the game. Here's the throw down the sideline. Flicked ahead by Alcaraz, but Kalmi will come up with it. Alcaraz now with a run. Lechner will try to get back there. Kalmi is there. And Hurd is at the top of the box. Kalmi and Lechner will clear it out. And that's game. The Rams will come from behind to score three goals in the second half to get the win. Three to one over Big Fork, and that's game, folks. Thanks for tuning in and joining us for this coverage of Ram and Breaker Soccer. We will have more coverage coming up on Tuesday as Steve I will be in the house. You've been listening to Loyola Sports on the Missoula Prep Sports Network. Have a good rest of your weekend, folks. Thank you for tuning in to this presentation of Missoula Sports. What a rush! MPSN's coverage of Missoula Sports is proudly powered by Fuel Fitness. Always, always, always. Tune in next time when the Missoula Prep Sports Network has coverage of your local sports heroes. Wee!